since 1979, Community Energy Project has been driven by the belief that everyone deserves a safe, healthy, and efficient home, regardless of income. CEP continues to provide free home and energy repairs, educational workshops, and efficiency solutions to low-income communities around the Portland metro area. Our successful programming has helped thousands of households live more comfortably and safely, use less energy, save money, and combat the effects of climate change. Hi everybody, and welcome to Community Energy Project's Do-It-Yourself Lead Safe Home Projects. In this video, we are going to be highlighting lead safe tools and work practices you will need to get the job done. We recommend only doing small or medium sized projects yourself. For larger scale projects, we suggest seeking professional expertise. Community Energy Project is one of seven agencies funded by the Portland Water Bureau to provide education and resources around lead poisoning in the county. So feel free to reach out if you need any help finding resources and guidance with your project. In this video, we will be discussing why do the proper tools and safe work practices matter, what are the proper tools needed, and what are safe and unsafe work practices when completing a lead safe project. Regardless of the practices, it is most important to limit dust to a minimum. This is not only hazardous to yourself, but also to your family, pets, yard, and neighbors. Think twice before pulling out the sander and getting to work on your own painted home. The number one method is just to minimize dust. Why is proper cleaning methods important? There are only two ways inorganic lead can enter our bodies, by breathing in dust or by ingesting small particles. Breathing lead into our lungs is the most dangerous way for both children and adults to be exposed to lead because almost 100% will be absorbed into the bloodstream within two to three days. This is the most common way adults are exposed to lead. For children, they primarily ingest lead through hand-to-mouth contact while young, when dirt and dust mixes with their saliva and is swallowed. Children, because their bodies are still growing and developing, can absorb up to 50% of lead that is ingested, while adults is only about 10%. Our body actually confuses lead and calcium because on a structural level, they are very similar in the way that they bond with our bodies. Calcium is a very important nutrient for brain development, especially during the first six years of life. Calcium is used to help build the gray matter of our brains and strengthen the connections that allow us to learn, form memories, make decisions, and have self-control. When lead is mistakenly used in the place of calcium, it has the opposite effect. It decreases the gray matter being formed and weakens our connections. The long-term impacts of childhood lead exposure can be learning disabilities or behavioral problems later on in life. For adults, we see similar impacts that may lead to early onset Alzheimer's or dementia because of impact to the gray matter. These are some of the tools that we will be discussing in this video to help you complete your lead safe project. A safe and low-tech option for preparing or removing lead paint is to use the standard tools, sandpaper, scraper, wire brush, or a planer, in the presence of water. Use a spray bottle or in the case of a sanding sponge, dip in a bucket of water before scraping or sanding the lead paint. This should keep dust down to a minimum. Specific tools are available that can capture debris from drilling holes. This would need to be attached to a HEPA vacuum in order to work. Dustless, a company that specializes in HEPA vacuums, makes the dust bubble, which acts like a small balloon that inflates during drilling. Any debris is captured in the balloon instead of flying all over the place. This is often a better and cheaper option for DIY projects. However, we don't recommend getting this unless you're drilling hundreds of holes. One safe option for removing lead paint is to use a heat gun on the lowest setting possible. The temperature should never reach or surpass 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, since this may generate fumes. Try a low setting with a paint scraper. While it may take more time, this is a safe option for removing lead paint. Another option is to use a low toxicity paint stripper, such as the one pictured. 
Usually they take at least 30 minutes after applying before the paint removing tool can scrape off the rest of the paint. Another safe but more expensive option is to attach your power tools to a HEPA vacuum cleaner. This allows you to work the way you normally would, but the HEPA vacuum will suck up the majority of the lead dust created. Burning paint always seems like a bad idea, but especially lead paint, which can create toxic fumes that no respirator can filter out. Burning paint with tools that operate above 1100 degrees has been officially banned, and it is illegal under federal law. Paint strippers with methylene chloride work great, but are known carcinogens. Don't trade one poison for another. OSHA considers methylene chloride a potential occupational carcinogen. While easy, pressure washing or power spraying lead paint is a bad idea. There is no way to properly contain the debris and water that will fly from the surface. Remember, lead in the soil has the potential to last for a thousand years. Certified to meet EPA RRP standards with a minimum filtration efficiency of 99.97% at 0.3 microns, lead paint can become lead dust and lead dust is the primary cause of lead poisoning in children today. Routinely remove household dust using wet soapy cleaning methods is recommended. Periodically wash objects that sit on the floor and have children wash their hands before they have meals. Vacuums are good cleaning tools, but they can contribute to the problem if they have air leaks that blow out dust without capturing it. Fully sealed, true, or certified HEPA vacuums are best for dust capture and effective containment of fine lead dust particles. If you need any more help on your Lead Safe Home project, check out our other videos on proper containment techniques, post-project cleaning methods, and proper Lead Safe personal protective equipment. And if you have any other questions or need help finding resources, feel free to contact us below.